Go have some crazy fun. Congratulations! You've just collected enough thrills to earn your first park manager award. Oh, and building up thrills opens new parks, and you can always check your progress by going to your HQ. Keep up the good work! All right, new park owner level, level one, mascot ma uh, mascot master. Do you wish to view your trophy in um, HQ? Yes. Let's take a look. Oh, sweet. Let's save the game while we're at it. <laughs> okay, you now have new missions, they said. So here we are! We're free! We're done with all this and that. Let's actually... Um, yeah, let's look up missions. There will always be things to do to keep the place in business. Your missions menu will show you what's waiting for your attention. After you've done enough jobs around here, I've got more parks for you to help out in. But for now, there's plenty to keep you busy. It's the overview. The happiness, the hunger, thirst, nausea, bladder, and boredom. Thrill, cleanliness. Okay. Your microd list is a great way of keeping in touch with your good friends. When you talk to someone on your list, you get new conversation options. You can gossip away for useful information. Or get hints on everything you'll need to know. You can warp to anyone on your list. You can see their detailed stats or any items they're carrying. You can have up to 20 friends on your list. If your list is getting full, you can remove people anytime you want. I'll let you get on now. Have fun. Thank you. So these must be the rides that are actually in my park as of now. Sweet. And then we got a map. Okay. So we can see where everything is. Sweet. And if we click on it, I think we will warp there. Quite possibly. Sweet. Love it! Okay, so let's get on to our missions because I think this is what this game is. is just to keep our missions going. And we'll just start from the top and go all the way down, you guys. So, coaster to go. Uncle Mortimer has a bunch of his world-famous roller coasters all ready to go. Find some empty space in Thrillville and fill it with an already built roller coaster. Okay. Um... Uh, pre -built. Which one do we want? I think we want something with good thrills, and it must be this one. Um, what if I don't want it here? Because what is it going to get rid of? It's going to get rid of that. No. Uh, backspace. Okay. We're going to have to go to a different place in the park. And let's let's find out where we need to go. Mission reward. Thrill points. Okay. Cool. Thrilltastic mission reward. Um, we need to find a place to put this. There must be a faster way to run. There must be a faster way. Why must people drop the trash everywhere? Oh, I found it. Okay. So you click Z and it'll you'll run faster, I believe. I believe, or I thought. <laughs> oh no, it's shift! Okay, it's shift. Okay, so is there, is there like a roller coaster up here, maybe? Oh, jeez. Is this a roller coaster? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. 
let's find a different place to put a roller coaster, you guys. We need to, we need to find a place. What's up? She's got something blue over her head, so maybe that means we need to do something. So, oh, is this a place to put a roller coaster, maybe? Oh, okay, cool, I collected something. Let's actually go ahead and... How do I go to the menu? I forgot! Uh, coaster. Oh, buy... Okay, there we go. Buy pre-built coasters. Uh, we want... This one. And... Place. Dude! Okay, so... There we go, it's tab. Why am I forgetting these? I just did this. Okay, so, yay, we got that done. Coaster to go. Uncle Mormon, yep, that's the one we just did. So, okay, so the thing is, if it's gold, that means we did it, and if it's silver, it means we need to do it. So, why, oops, why don't we actually go ahead and ride this bad boy? Oops. I want to ride. Yes. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, what the heck? Ah, 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 ah. What? was a lot of thrill. Look at all these people running up there. Look at all these people. They're like, yeah, look at this roller coaster, man. Look at it. <laughs> okay. So let's actually go to another build and buggy builder. What would Thrill Hill Stunts be without its very own Dune Buggies track? A bad theme park, that's what. Go build the most awesome race course you can imagine. Okay. Um, race tracks. Wait, I have to build it? Go build the most awesome race course. Back in Throttleville. Okay, I gotta go to Throttleville. Okay. I go to the map. Where are we? We're in Battleville. Um. This is Saddleville. Throttleville. Let's actually... Oop. I want to go to a ride. Let's actually go... Are you sure you want to travel? Yes. <laughs> okay, sweet. So here we are. Here. And we need to build this a... Oops. As my room. Oops. I heard that. Oh, what's this? Sweet. Uh, anti thrillville ad. Two out of six. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna actually go ahead and build here. Um, buggy builder. Race tracks. Let's try to build our own. Um, basic, I guess. Let's see. Welcome to the basic coaster building tutorial. Here you will learn the fundamentals of great coaster construction. When building a coaster, you always start at the coaster station. See the blue track piece? That gives you a preview of the track you're about to build. Press the Enter key or the left mouse button to place the track. You can make slopes by pressing the W and S or up and down arrow keys. Try it yourself now, and then place the track by pressing the Enter key. You can make turns by moving left or right on the A and D or left and right arrow keys. Try this for yourself. And then don't worry if you make a mistake or want to change the track you've just placed. You can always delete it. Press the backspace key to delete a single piece of track. If you want to delete more than one track piece in a hurry, you can hold the backspace key. Give ah, okay, I got you. Got you. Here, I've built a lift hill for you. Lift hills are important because they give your coaster the speed it needs to get around the track. While we're up here, let's see what camera options are available. 
You can switch the camera between near and far views. You are currently in the far view. This lets you see the track from a distance at any angle you choose. Press the shift key to switch to the near view. The near view is useful when building coasters in enclosed spaces, or to give you an idea of what it looks like to ride the coaster. Return to the far view by pressing the shift key. Now you're back in far view. From here, you can move the camera by holding the alt key and dragging the mouse left or right. Try this for yourself, now. Got you. As well as moving the camera, you can also zoom in or out to see your coaster up close or from a distance. Hold the Alt key and drag the mouse up or down to zoom the camera. I've now added a drop from the top of the lift hill. This is how the coaster gains its speed. This would be a good place to add a woe coaster piece. Woe pieces are special track pieces that add thrills to your coaster design. Woe pieces can be huge mechanical pieces like the slam dunk or more traditional pieces like loops. Press the space bar to open the woe wheel. Select any woe piece and press the enter key or left mouse button to place it. You can complete the coaster for yourself by connecting your track to the track already placed in the coaster station. But I always use the track assist feature to finish my coasters. Open track assist by pressing the control key. Select yes to start track assist. When track assist has found a solution, select yes to accept. Track assist will try to finish your coaster for you, but sometimes it won't be able to get you all the way back. If this happens, it will suggest a piece that will bring you closer to the station end. Well, that's the basics, but don't worry. You don't have to build all of your own coasters. I've already got a lot of pre-built coasters that I've designed just for you. If you want to learn more about building coasters, try out the Advanced Coaster Building Tutorial. Now let's cover some advanced techniques. I'll show you how to build a coaster by following a design that I made myself. As we go, I'll point out some of the tricks I use when designing coasters. See the gray practice tracks? Your job will be to match your track with the gray one. When you get a match, your track will turn green. Remember, your preview may show many different possibilities. I've built the starting lift hill for you. The most important part of a lift hill is the drop. The drop gives your coaster the speed it needs to reach the end of the track. The longer or steeper the drop, the more speed your coaster will build. Let's start our drop by going straight down. Move the track down until the preview turns green, and then place the track. Add another piece, just like that. And now, another. One last one for extra speed. Now let's create some airtime. Airtime is when you're lifted from your seat, like going over a bump in a fast car. Let's let's take a look at what we're doing, you guys. So let's lift that till it turns green. There it is. It's one surefire way to increase the thrill rating of your coaster. To gain airtime, we need the coaster to hit a bump at high speed. The drop you've just built gives us the speed. Now we need to make the bump. Move the preview up until the track is pointing straight up. Good. Now at the top of the bump, we want to level off. That's what will create airtime. Move the track down until it's flat. When that preview turns green, place down the track. Excellent. Now make a steep slope down to finish. OK. Now flatten the track out to prepare. Another good way of increasing your coaster's thrill rating is to add low coaster pieces. Whoa, coasters. Okay, so we learned that we gotta click space. Whoa, pieces add intensity and fun to your coaster. Some have moving parts like the pendulizer. Others are more traditional like loops and corkscrews. So let's open the whoa wheel by pressing the space bar. Now scroll over to the pendulizer piece and build it. That'll rack up the thrills, but when building a coaster, you should also try to keep a low nausea rating. A high nausea rating means that more guests will get sick when they ride the coaster. 
Some will even refuse to get on a ride if the nausea is too high. The secret of low nausea is to keep your coaster turned smooth by using a technique called banking. A banked turn twists on its side to ease the strain when going around corners at high speed. To bank a track piece left or right, press the comma or period keys or left click on the bank icons. Then use the controls to bank in the opposite direction if you want to straighten the track again. Try it now just to get a feel for it. Now try making a tight right bank turn. When your preview turns green, place the track. Build another tight right bank turn. You're really getting it. Now it's time to straighten out the track. I'm so proud. First, you'll need to take out that bank, just like you practiced before. When the preview turns green, you've got it. Nice job. Now let's bring it back to the station and make a short slope facing down. Now add a small bump. This not only add another short section pointing down and a final track piece to connect to the station. Congratulations, you built your coaster. That was pretty easy, y'all. Remember, the secret to a good coaster is high thrill and low nausea. But after all, this is your park. So do what makes you happy. <laughs> Forget all the guests. Do what makes you happy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and ride this. Just, just to ride it. We spent our time making it. Here we are. Woohoo! Uh oh, we're gonna go down and round downtown. Ah! Oh lord! <laughs> ah! 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 Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> crazy it just threw us plum in the air oh my god that was crazy okay we're going back space now <laughs> okay so we're wanting to make some dune buggies so let's go ahead and make our own dune buggies for crying out loud now that we know what we're doing okay so let's place Alrighty. um Let's go ahead and go up, turn, up, okay, sharp turn, This is this dune buck buggy track is gonna be crazy. Okay, track assist. Yes. Oh, they found one. Let's save it. Woo, thrill 93, skill 100. They said I did a pretty good job. Yeah. So let's ride the, our dune buggies now that we've built it, y'all. Sounds like fun. Let's actually play. See if we can't actually ride this to see how difficult this is. Design your own race tracks and challenges for your friends. Blah blah blah. Accelerate is the mouse key, and the power slide is the control button. Okay. There we go. I know I'm going the wrong way. I'm already sucking, y'all. No! No! 
I'm stuck. This sucks. I'm stuck. <laughs> I got a lot of catching up to do. Whoa, hello. Okay, the point is don't ever let go of the acceleration. No! <laughs> this track is like too much for me. Ah! 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 Y'all, I don't like doing buggy. I hope I never have to do this again. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. It takes practice. It takes practice. <laughs> it takes practice. Oh! Why do I keep turning around right there? Man, they're smoking me. Well, I finished last. <laughs> I pretty much sucked. Let's exit this mini game. Yes, we're done. <laughs> we sucked. Okay. Uh, mission reward. Thrill tastic. Uh, apparently, we're getting some rewards while we're here. Okie dokie, artichokey. Alrighty, so let's actually figure out what we need to do now for the build.